In this problem, it asks us to find the area of a trapezoid. So real quick, the formula for the area of a trapezoid is right here in red. And you'll notice it's kind of like the area formula for a triangle, where you have one half times the base times height. The only difference is that now instead of having one base, you have two bases that are added together. So first off, you've got to know what's the bases and what's the height. So in a trapezoid, the two parallel sides are what we call the bases. So here's one base and here's another. And you can call one of them base one, one of them base two. It doesn't matter which one is which. So the bases are the two parallel sides. And then the height, the H, is a segment that connects the parallel sides and is perpendicular to them. So um, the height can be drawn off to the side or like in this problem in the middle, but it's always, always perpendicular to the base or it forms a 90 degree angle with the bases. Okay, so that's what the information we need is the bases and we need the height. And in this problem, all of that information was given. It tells us AB is eight units. It tells us CD is 12 units. And it tells us that EF is six units. So that right there is our two bases and our height. So all that's left is to just plug everything in and solve. So we have the area equals one half. That one half is just part of the formula, so it's always gonna be there. Um, B1, again, it doesn't matter which one's which, I'll just call this base one and this guy base two. So base one we'll say is 12 plus our base two, which we could say is this guy, um, that's eight and then times the height, which we know is six. Okay, so solving, you just follow your order of operations. So simplify the parentheses first. So we have 12 plus eight equals 20. And then I'll just bring the one half down and the six down and everything else. Um, so next you can just multiply across. So half of 20 is 10, and then 10 times six is 60. So you could sort of, however you wanna multiply these is fine. You could also do 20 times six, and then divide that by two, cause that's the same thing as multiplying times a half. Really, however you wanna multiply this and simplify is up to you, but you should come out with an answer of 60 square units. And so our answer to this problem is A.